Viswithya, consultant robotic and joint replacement surgeon practicing in Thane city. I am practicing here at Pinnacle Ortho Center Hospital. It's a super speciality hospital situated in the heart of Thane city. I am practicing in Thane for the past 25 years. My predominant interests are hip and knee arthritis and I specialize in robotic joint replacement surgery. Today, I am here to tell you more about the osteoarthritis and its various treatment modalities. As you know, any joint is formed by two bones which are articulating with each other. The articulating ends of the bone are covered with a smooth coating called as an articular cartilage. So what happens exactly in osteoarthritis? In osteoarthritis, the cartilage which is there starts to get degenerated. There is a wear and tear of the articular cartilage. So in increasing grades of osteoarthritis or any form of arthritis. So now what are the various treatment modalities that are available to us for osteoarthritis? So today we will focus more on the non-surgical techniques or the conservative modalities or the joint preservation techniques for knee arthritis. So when the patient comes to us in initial stages, say grade 1 or grade 2 arthritis, which is just the beginning stage, we normally put them on some analgesics or anti-inflammatory medications or painkiller what we call in layman's language. So this helps to reduce the inflammatory process, it helps to re uh, relax the surrounding muscles and thus patients do get relief. Plus we also advise them certain physiotherapy activities or certain exercises for the uh, knee joint. One of the most important factor which is contributory to the, the progression of osteoarthritis is the weight. So obesity is one of the modifiable causative factor for osteoarthritis. So in the initial stages, we advise the patient to uh, reduce their weight. So reduction of the weight reduces the load on the knee joint, thus reducing their pain. Also, we advise them to uh, modify their lifestyle. Many a times patients have habit of sitting cross-legged or in, uh, using squatting or Indian toilets. So these are the factors which provide, uh, produce more load on the knee joint or if the patient comes to us with a moderate or grade 3 or say grade 4 of osteoarthritis. So in these conditions, we provide them a treatment modality which is called as injection therapy. Now injection therapy is again of two types. One is uh, we inject cortisones or corticosteroid injections, but other one is what is called as a visco supplementation. So injection of steroid, what role does it have? It helps to reduce the internal inflammation plus it helps to reduce the pain pathways which uh, produce the pain. But nowadays uh, this kind of a treatment modality is, is not much favored by the orthopedic surgeons. So now the another injection treatment which is there is the visco supplementation. So what exactly is visco supplementation? As the name suggests, visco supplementation in which we are sus supplementing viscous fluid or the synovial fluid into the knee joint. What happens exactly in osteoarthritis, the quality and the quantity of the synovial fluid starts to reduce. So the main content of the synovial fluid is called as hyaluronic acid. In visco supplementation, we provide injection of hyaluronic acid into the patient's knee joint. Again, there are two types of visco supplementation. One is a low molecular weight and one is a high molecular weight. So nowadays the more preferred one is the high molecular weight visco supplementation or high molecular weight hyaluronic acid because it is more prone to uh, give better uh, results in the patients. It uh, improves the pain as well as improves their walking as well as their exercise ability. This was about all about visco supplementation. So if you are interested in knowing more about this visco supplementation or the injection therapy, you can visit our website which is listed below or you can get in touch with me by taking my appointments on the numbers listed below.